It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and it's time for us now to talk KNT Netball, a very successful weekend for their association in the country championships. And our next guest, hopefully the body is well rested after umpiring, I don't know how many games over there uh, at the country champs in Adelaide. Does uh, Sally Bywater is on the line with us. Sally, have you recovered yet? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm finally got there. It's Friday now, so yeah. Few days in, and I'm okay. So oh. yeah, big weekend, but enjoyable. Good stuff. Big weekend for the umpires, but also a big weekend for the players from KNC, and um, some pretty good results to talk about here. We did everything but come away with uh, gold medals, uh, some of your teams. So um, at the end of the day, if you make a grand final in these uh, tournaments, then you've done pretty well. Oh, absolutely! Like you know, it's the best of the best of the the country netballers around the state. So you know. We were very successful, really, and we were happy with our results. As you should be. Uh, of course, it was Southeast dominated, really, um, particularly uh, the old foe border districts just got hold of you in a couple of competitions and grand final time. They did. So, yeah, obviously, I think what was it in the A grade and the 17 and under, yeah, Western border took it over. I think they also took out the 15. So, very successful then, but. We'll get them sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs> no doubt. So, grand final in the seniors for the A grade, uh, going down to the final to Western Borders, 17s, as you mentioned. But uh, how did the other, uh, the 13s and the 15s go? Yeah, so 15s, they did really quite well. They um, made it to the semi final and came up against Western Border and lost to them in that. So, oh. but you know, they, they still played their 12 games, had three losses. So, a great weekend by them to finish third and just going down. By to strong Western Border at semi final, so a great weekend by those girls. Yep, and the 13s? Yeah, so the 13s had also a nice weekend. They played 13 games over the weekend and just had the one loss, which happened to be the, the grand final against Hills, so but going down by two. But to finish second overall out of 30 teams, this is fantastic. So we're really lucky to make Division One, and those girls are very happy with their results. And Little upset with the loss in the grand final, but well done to them all. So, uh, Division One in every grade for the juniors, is that right? That's correct. So, so yeah. your overall finish in 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 all of these grades. How about this? Uh, in the A grade, uh, K and C second, under seventeens second, under fifteens third, under thirteens second. Gee whiz, it doesn't get much better than that. We can't complain. So obviously. You know, not many losses, and yeah, fantastic to have a little association here in the southeast. But yeah, very, very um, lucky to yeah, top three all grade. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, well done to everyone involved in KNT Netball. And I'm sorry that you didn't get to take home uh, the gold medal at at least one of those, but it'll come. If I mean, if you keep putting results like that on the board, eventually you're going to get one. Absolutely. You know, our A grade going down by one, the 17s, oh. only a few. Yeah, so we we're right up there and. Is always next year. That's right. Uh, back to club matches now, though, and that's what we'll have a look at. Uh, we are round nine of matches in KNC Netball this weekend, and they, the round actually gets underway tonight. Keith taking on Mandala, is that right? That's correct, yeah. Then Mandala will travel down to Keith to play in the stadium tonight. So, yeah, games at half past six and eight o'clock. So, yep, let's get along to have a look at those ones. All right, so we're looking at the ladder. If you were uh, to pick a winner here, you'd have to go with the Crows. They would start warm favourites, wouldn't they? Oh, I think so. Obviously, with their six wins, no losses, and Mandala the two and four. So I think Keith on their home ground will yeah, get the wins tonight. All right. Now, other matches uh, on Saturday for the weekend. Who's matching up against who? So this weekend, we've got Border Town um, at home against Kingston. Obviously, they've got a bye, so... Um, can I be making the road down to Panola? So I think that might be a bit tough go, going for them in that game because we know Panola's playing some great netball and kyber has got a couple of wins on the board but not quite going to get the points this week, I don't think, in that game. Mm. Should be an yeah. interesting game, though. Absolutely. They always are. Um, I reckon the rivalry game, best game, will be the narracourt Lucidel clash. Oh, yeah. At Narracourt this weekend. So, yeah, Narracourt 4 and 3 and Lucindale 4 and 2. So... That could go either way. They're both fighting for that top five position. So, a weekend off, I think Lucy Dunn might get the points in this game. Yep. And uh, perhaps down the other end of the ladder, this yep. one's going to be interesting. Uh, Kyby Bolite, but uh, Panola, uh, we know, are uh, fourth position at the moment and still going okay. But Kyby Bolite are probably uh, two and four and maybe shouldn't be. Uh, they, they should be perhaps a little bit further up. So, that should be an interesting game. 
I think they've got, they've got potential, that um, Kaibi team, so they could do anything. They could have a bit of a rough of the feathers at the Panola Eagles there, but Panola's playing some great netball sticking. They'll be wanting to finish in that top five this year, so at home, could get the win. Yep. All right, anything else for us, Sally, before we wrap up? I really can look forward to a nice free, injury-free weekend and hopefully everyone has some great games and, yeah, hopefully the rain stays away for a little bit for us. Fingers crossed. Uh, <laughs> enjoy the netball, and uh, Sally will catch up with you again next week. Sounds great. Thank you.